Hey guys, Flo here with another episode of the Napoli Career Mode series. We have a game against Fiorentina in the Serie A after losing the last chance of qualifying in the Champions League or in the Europa League. We go and focus on the Serie A, Napoli versus Fiorentina at Stadio Artemio Franchi. So Napoli were in 7th spot but with one game less than most of the team so if they won this game they would go straight into the 4th spot but let's see how they do. With the first chance Napoli passing the ball for Balotelli, a shot by Hiller hitting the post and cleared the way. What a big chance for Napoli to get in front in this game right from the start of the, of the match. Let's see here, Ljajic with a shot. Ljajic with a big shot there, but it's uh, off target in the end. Great that he tried the shot, but it's uh, well wide. Once again, he passes the ball now, shooting the ball. Too many touches there by the Fiorentina player, but in the end, it remains nil-nil. Hamšík now, shooting the ball. Neto saving the ball. It wasn't a play shot by Hamšík, a powerful shot, but... Uh, Neto just had to, to clear it away. Hamšik now, once again, Hamšik. Shooting Hamšik! Very close to scoring once again, Hamšik, but uh, it remains nil-nil. Fiorentina now in attack. Pretty balanced game so far. Both teams had their chances. 60 minutes in. Both teams want to win this game. Three important points for both teams. And Fiorentina can take the lead now, but a poor shot there after a great build-up play by, uh, by Fiorentina. Another great play here by Fernandez. Passing the ball there. And very close to scoring once again Fiorentina. Napoli in attack now. Last chance of the game. Busufa. Busufa keeps the ball. Passes the ball for Insigne. Insigne is close to scoring. Wonder for Napoli. And he surely wins this one for the Napolitans. What a time to score a goal. 90 minutes in. And Napoli win this game against Fiorentina. Most importantly winning the three points that bring them closer to Juventus in the Serie A. Next game will be in the Champions League against Atletico Madrid. No chance whatsoever to qualify, but uh, first off we have a press conference from the Napoli manager. Just wanted to clear a few things regarding my team. I didn't expect us to perform the way we did in Champions League and I apologize to our fans, but uh, we we do all that we can to win the Serie A for you guys in this season, but uh, relating Champions League, it just wasn't meant to be. And to be honest, Europe League is no dream anyway. I will play with the subs in the last match against uh, Atletico Madrid. We will try to win this one for you, but uh, at the moment Serie A is the most important thing for us. So uh, we have to keep focused on the championship, have to push forward to... To get as close as possible to Juventus and eventually get past them and uh, why not winning the Serie A? Is that it? Thank you. Pretty interesting words there by the Napoli manager. We have this game against Atletico Madrid versus Napoli. As he said, the Napoli manager would use his second team into this Champions League game at the Stadio Vicente Calderon. Let's see how this turns out for Napoli. Remember, they don't have any chances to qualify, neither in the Europa League or in the Champions League. So, uh, Napoli pretty much just doing this for their fans as a, as a sorry. But now a chance for Napoli and it's 1-0 already by Lucas Piazon. Three minutes in and the Napoli second team is, uh, is on fire. It's not exactly the second team. A lot of great players still playing for Napoli, but... Uh, at the same time, a lot of players have been rested for the Serie A matches. Now again, Lucas Piazon passing the ball for Jordi Alba. 2-0 already and Vargas scoring. 5 minutes in, 2-0. Who would have expected this? Atletico Madrid versus Napoli. The team that will qualify in the next stages of the Champions League versus a team that has no chance to qualify. Juan Fan now passing the ball. For Turan, Falcao, and again Falcao, but Costil saving the ball. Very good save by Costil. All the Napoli players are playing fantastic at the moment, and Niller now 
with another attack for uh, for Napoli. Jordi Alba keeping the ball there, playing a little with it, passing the ball for Balotelli with the volley. What a funny goal there. I don't know how Joel didn't manage to save this one, but it's 3-0 for Napoli. Yes, 3 zeros to 0. So, uh, pretty big surprise. Just 25 minutes played in. Napoli with another chance. Vargas crossing the ball there, passing the ball there for Taurab. And the volley didn't manage to get into the goal. And now another chance for Taurab, but uh, it will remain 3-0. A chance here for Atletico Madrid. Doesn't manage to cross the ball. Raul Garcia. Maybe now. Rodriguez. Another cross by him and cleared away by Jordi Alba. Gabi now. Passing the ball and Rodriguez with a shot. And Falcao with another goal against Napoli. Remember he scored four goals with his head in the match against Napoli at San Paolo. And now scoring once again with the header. Three one, 74 minutes in. Busufa for Napoli. With another chance with the header saving the ball. Joel and once again Vargas smashes the ball into the goal and it's 4-1 for Napoli. Very good show here by Napoli. Surprise at the end of it, but uh, it is 4-1 for Napoli. Another chance here for Atletico Madrid. Diego Costa crossing the ball and what a fantastic player Falcao is absolutely mental scoring six goals with the header and Falcao big big player so Napoli getting out of the Champions League with their heads up now it's time to concentrate more on the Serie A so this is the first chance for them to show that Serie A is serious for them against Cagliari Napoli versus Cagliari. Napoli were coming after they were knocked out of the Champions League, but with a good result in the last match against Atletico Madrid, they wanted to change a few wins in a row. So this is the first chance for them at San Paolo against Cagliari. First chance is for Cagliari, though. Ivan getting the ball up front to the attacker, shooting the ball there from the edge of the box, pretty wide of target, but uh, Cagliari with the first chance. Busufana passing the ball on the right flank for Aguero. Beautiful dribbling there by Aguero. And it's cleared away. But uh, only to Hamšek. Zuniga. Let's see what Zuniga does with the ball. Zuniga crosses the ball. And it's an offside. But what a big chance for Napoli. Danilo here on the left side. Getting past the defenders. Danilo passing to Ivan. Shooting Ivan. It's 1-0. 1-0 for Cagliari. And Inan scoring a very good goal for, for his team and more importantly, Cagliari are in front. Aguero now. Aguero, he sees this pace. Aguero, he goes. Aguero! But it saved and Hapsic with a shot, but big chance missed by Napoli. Jordi Alba passing the ball for Insigne. Insigne passing the ball in the box for Aguero. For Zuniga. Zuniga shooting the ball. 1-1. 67 minutes in and Napoli have time to win this one. Zuniga scoring. He fooled the defender then and from the 6 yard box he scores the goal. Bonucci heading the ball there for Balotelli. Insigne now. At the edge of the box, Insigne, Insigne, shooting Insigne, what a save by Agazzi! What a big save by the goalkeeper, and uh, it remains 1-1. 80 minutes in, Napoli still in attack, they want those three points, Balotelli with a big pass there for Hamšik, I believe, yes, Hamšik, Hamšik goes for the place, shot, what a big chance, what a big game we have here, and uh, it remains 1-1, Napoli have to win this one. They are pressing here. Zuniga gets the ball of the defender. What a chance here for Napoli to score. Zuniga passing the ball. Aguero scoring the goal. And it's 2-1 for Napoli. Very important goal scored by Aguero. He didn't score much. He didn't integrate in himself into the, the Napolitans teams. But uh, he did a good job. What a big chance for Cagliari in the last moments of the game. But it will finish. 2-1 for Napoli, Aguero, the hero for the San Paolo team. I'm your host, Flo. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you next time.